All right, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of my brand new Baby Maker by FLX Bikes. Now, this is an e-bike that I, I guess I've been kind of thinking about this for a year, and uh, so we're gonna be unboxing it. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'll give you a few little details on this, but we'll get started with this. So, I've been waiting this a while. This should have been a birthday present in October. Actually, it should have come in September. I was number 1,255 among those who uh, had ordered this uh, back in the spring of the year. I'd actually paid a dollar about a year and a half ago so that I could uh, be on the early list to get to do this. So um, at this point, they did pretty well with their, their uh, GoFundMe project on Indiegogo. In fact, I think they surpassed their goal uh, by a significant amount, and uh, there have been $13,566 in GoFundMe. So this is the bike. Um, all right. Boy, nicely boxed. Uh, you can see the fish tank is, I guess, a decoy to keep the people from breaking uh, the box, maybe who deliver it or breaking the bike. So I'm just going to be pulling out some of the items here. I'll, I'll be cutting them with a wire cutter, things like the seat post, stuff like that. But we'll go ahead and skip a bit of that. Um, yeah. Now this one, i take a bit of the foam out here. That box is going to contain the bits, the parts, not the charger. The charger's in another box in here. But here we go. All right, I have to say FLX has done a really good job with this. This is one of their first GoFundMe project. Uh, they did a really good job because where Shimano, um, Trek, um, Specialized, and a lot of the bicycle companies right now just cannot get their bikes off shipping containers, which are off the coast of California. Um, and not seeming to be able to get them to come ashore it. This company has done an incredible job getting all their bikes delivered. So we're just gonna, a lot of zip ties here, and uh, you wanna be careful not to cut anything that's not supposed to be cut. But let's see here. Uh, this is the Pro Edition, and the Pro Edition came with, I need to cut this. It came with, uh, the carbon fiber, or I'm sorry, it came with cal brake calipers uh, and also the the disc brakes on this are hydraulic. So um, pretty nice looking wheel. I mean, it's heavy as all get out. It's not a light wheel, but nicely done. So, all right, what do you think of the color? What do you think? It's orange. It's orange. It will not go unnoticed. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, this is the, uh, they came in two different sizes. This um, particular uh, order was the large or their 23 inch um, frame. There's also a 19. They say that's good for a person for 11 and under. My size. Or, and over. <laughs> and this is a good, yeah. This is good for about, uh, they say, 5'9 uh, to 6'7. Six, six feet, I think that's a, that would be a stretch, literally. So, a couple other things about this bike. Uh, one, it's just stealth as can be. The battery is in this drop tube here. Uh, it's also very low maintenance, and that appealed to me. And... Um, Low maintenance because it has a Gates belt drive. So about the, if you think how often you have to change a fan belt on your car, well, this is that same Gates company that does the fan belts for cars. So you should never have to really do much on that. Um, the, the battery can be replaced. There's a little, um, show you this, right here in the front plate. This front plate will come off, and you have to remove then the fork, and then you'd be able to pull cloth and get the battery out of this. 
Hopefully you never need to do that. I certainly hope I don't. Um, before I go ahead and kind of take a break from this and, uh, and start some assembly on it, which I'm not going to bore you with because it, honestly it's pretty easy to put together. You just put your handlebars on and put, put the front wheel on. But um, there is a lot of customization that you can do with it. I went ahead and ordered, for instance, a water bottle. This is a pretty cheap one. Uh, it's carbon fiber, though, but, uh, yeah, pretty close, pretty close, and also, um, got my own saddle that I like using, this is, uh, one I had around, um, so I'm gonna probably not go with theirs, I'll go with my own saddle, you can also go with a carbon fiber seat post, you can probably actually go with a different front wheel, obviously you can't go with a different rear wheel, because the rear wheel is where you uh, have the actual motor for the for the drive on this. So um, we'll go ahead and finish up kind of some assembly on this, but uh, that's the gist of the unboxing. I'm also not going to be using their uh, pedal. I'm going to be using um, and well, this is a this is an egg beater uh, pedal. This is something I've used on uh, off road bikes, cross bikes, but my walking shoes that that. Uh, that I can use kind of for city riding or commuting, which is what I'm going to use this bike for. Um, I go ahead and I'm going to use this type of pedal. So uh, again, there's all types of customizations you can do. A couple more unboxing items here. One, this is the charger. And you want to fully charge, of course, the battery because it's been about two months getting from China to here. So, uh, you know, want to fully charge it, and uh, of course, there's a little box that comes with your uh, your skewer for your quick release front wheel and your pedals. Uh, actually, they're not bad pedals. They're they're metal, not plastic, but yeah, they're real bike pedals. So, don't mean to be snobby, but I'm snobby about pedals. So, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I'm not real sure about this stem. Uh, jury's out on me uh, for me on that. I'm probably going to replace that with a longer stem and I'm probably going to replace uh, those handlebars. But again, everyone can do customization to make it theirs. Um, but uh, so that's it, just the unboxing. And uh, pretty psyched about it. That's been a long time coming. But happy birthday, belated. Happy early Christmas present. Uh, thank you for, for watching and thank you to my wife for letting me do this. Uh, I'm going to do another unboxing video on, because I was sort of looking at buying my wife an e-bike when I came across this and that's just not her style. And uh, so I've got maybe something else we'll unbox later. But, uh, but that's it for now. So uh, next up is just to get out and test drive it. Let's do a little bit of bonus coverage here on the unboxing of the FLX Baby Maker. Uh, again, this is the 23 inch frame um, and it's the Pro Edition. So uh, a couple things that now that I've worked on it that I'll just kind of point out to you. Uh, you can see one of the things I've done is I actually had a uh, stem and this handlebar that came on my Ridley. I have a carbon fiber on my Ridley Helium. So I, I just repurposed that to this. Uh, one little deficiency, um, you'll note that this uh, cannot fit around there properly. So what I've done is I, craw I just kind of have hovered it over and I zip tied it uh, in an X pattern here with my zip ties. Uh, and that seems to be holding it nice and firm. Um, but I've gone ahead and just upgraded this. Uh, a couple things I'll note. One, they originally had said these would be reservoir uh, brake calipers or, um, yeah, brake calipers or brake uh, levers. Uh, they are not reservoir. Uh, instead, the reservoir is happening right down here on the actual... Um, disc or on the calipers so it's not a bad thing it's just uh it wasn't quite what was talked about in the advertisements uh 
uh, or in the upgrade, but still, this is a good sound little system here. I feel good about that. Um, and uh, I, I like this a lot better having a proper stem and not a mountain bike stem on a, um, on a bike that you'd use for kind of a road bike or a city cruiser. So I have not taken a ride yet. I've just finally gotten the new bar tape on it. By the way, the other thing I found the bar tape was really, really extremely cheap uh, that was on there. Uh, just no cushion. This is cork. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's just cork with no stickum on it. And I've wrapped that uh, like $19 from Bontrager. Um, and I'll go ahead and put my Garmin mount on here. So I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and give it a ride and give you a review. Not crazy about a quick release. Uh, that's kind of uh, mountain bikeish, uh, but I guess I'm going to probably go with it because I have a feeling that I'm going to have a lot of folks that will want to ride this bike. And what I did was just put a score mark on it for myself so that I'd know, hey, that's my height because um, I have a standard measurement I do on on my bikes from fittings I've had done in the past. So kind of set it up like all my other bikes and uh, ready to give it a test ride and uh, we'll take a look at that all right so I thought I'd take a minute and give you a little review I just did uh, did about five miles on the bike on a section I've done quite often on my road bike and I can see it's sort of loosening up the bearings or whatever it's starting to roll a little faster so uh, up some hills that I normally would obviously be at the absolute limit, I was able to just spin along and and zone five and head up about 19 miles per hour, 20 miles per hour. If I gave it some a little bit extra watts, I don't know about the gearing. Um, of course, it's real heavy when you're slow, but it spins out at about honestly 22 miles per hour, 24 miles per hour. You're just gonna just absolutely spin like a hamster but uh but yeah it motors so good first ride i think it'll keep me from sweating heavily on commutes how you doing <laughs> all right so that's it for uh, ride number one on the baby maker pro and uh haven't used really any battery so I'm going to head on home and uh, upload this. But hey, why don't you follow me on uh, YouTube. I do a lot of stuff with Airstream and bicycles. Um, or, uh, or at least like it if you thought it was something you're interested in and it was helpful to you. But uh, until I talk with you all again, hey, be blessed.